Hey everyone, I'm Jenny Lin and I have my very own paint company. Before you buy a gallon of paint, I have some do's and don'ts for you. Don't choose a color from a magazine. It may look beautiful in print, however, with all the retouching and photo editing, it's gonna be nearly impossible to recreate that color. My favorite colors this year are everything in shades of pink. I absolutely love them. They're so on trend and perfect. Don't paint directly onto the walls unless you paint a really large swatch to get a good perspective of that color. Go out and grab a tester of paint and a big board. If you can get something this size, that would be amazing. If it's bigger than me, it's perfect. Great tip about this is that you can actually move it around the room and see what it looks like on all angles and lighting. Keep in mind that the color around the paint swatch on the wall will change the perspective that you see. A safe and timeless color that you can choose is pretty much anything off-white. It pairs virtually with everything and doesn't compete with any other colors. Don't fall prey to decision fatigue. Try and limit your color selection before you even go into the store so that you have an idea of what you're already looking for. Keep in mind that paint swatches are really small, so it is too small to be able to really choose the color right there. Some things to look for on paint labels would be whether it's a zero VOC product and whether it's oil-based or water-based. VOC means volatile organic compound. As paint is drying, any chemicals are released through the evaporation and drying and curing process. Those tend to be quite harmful to your health and carcinogenic, so we really want to try and avoid any products that have VOCs in them. I recommend looking for a water-based product because they tend to be zero VOC or low VOC and they clean up really easily with water. Do make a mood board. You can get inspiration from anywhere in your room. It could be the furniture that you have or the art on your walls but use that as your inspiration. Many tend to keep their paint code thinking that if they need more, it'll be the exact same next time they go into the store to buy it. However, this may not be the case as each batch is tinted by hand and can slightly vary. So it's always good to keep a little bit of the paint left over from any room or wall that you've painted for touch-ups. Keep in mind that the lighting that you have in your environment in your room is always gonna alter the color. So whether it's daytime light or incandescent light or even nighttime, it's going to affect how that color looks. Remember to grab really high quality tools and paint as it makes such a difference to the outcome of your beautiful paint finish. A common misconception is that you have to prime everything before painting. In fact, one of the only times you really need to prime is if you have brand new drywall that's just been taped and mudded then you would want to use a coat of primer, then go to paint. For most projects, all you need to do is make sure that your surface is clean and sound, and then you can go ahead and put a coat of paint on it. If you're about to start your painting project, my best piece of advice that I can give you is don't overthink it and have fun. It's just paint, so you can always repaint over it. I hope this video has earned a thumbs up. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks for stopping by and happy painting. What more do you want from me? I gave you all my paint tips. There's some more over here. Try that video or the next one. Doesn't matter. Just pick one. They're all great. All of them. <laughs> what are you still doing here? Go pick a video.